character when I can just play the first best character. Wow, Bayo indeed, as we see instant down tilt trying for a down tilt fair conversion, but no dice. Let's get it this time. So Generic has been playing a little bit of Bayo as well, so this may very well be a very close match. Blair put on a show earlier on, though. Curious to see what we'll see. Looking very stable as far. Tries for the empty land down tilt, but Glare gets that witch twist, keeping things consistent, just ending with the up air, not trying to reach too hard. Double witch twist. Yet, both players are just keeping to the consistent damage. No crazy reads quite yet. Maybe they're trying to save that for when they got a little bit of rage and a fresh stock to work with. Great SDI right there by Glare, making generic. Really regret tossing on that last option and waiting that out. This is the tech, but then actually drops shield. That flashing shield open for just a split second and Glare lands the perfect aerial. And I wonder if it was an attempt at a perfect shield, right? Flash shield a couple times, see if you can hit that startup frames. Instead, Glare is able to make it back 102. Looking uh, very strong here, hunting for that dash grab. He wants that up throw. Now offstage trying to recover low, and that is exactly what we want to see. We're getting footstool. Will that be enough? It won't, but still getting the down tilt back air. So great job by Generic, recognizing the Glare had just barely enough resources to make it back to that edge. And getting so, hitting slightly below ledge as well. Didn't even look like a two frame, just purely timing the Witch Twist end, uh, end frames. Still, that's a heal slide, but no huge follow up Glare. Leaving himself very open, but this, these bats within are just popping out for both sides. They got to get a little bit tighter on the combos. What a reversal attempt there from Glare, yet it does not end in the stock. Back air isn't going to connect either, so up throw instead. Board air one sets up for so much, but yet again, generic's SDI on point. Falls out of that string. Not going to get called out by the empty short off. It's had tons of damage. Generic yet again not getting killed off the top, but the problem is this lead is starting to widen. I mean, it's super, super tight at this point. Like, I'm, I'm, would be surprised if we don't start seeing these players start to hunt for some more smaller conversions or just a straight up witch time. The jab one charging the up smash and generic taking game number one. What an upset this would be, Blair. I believe the second highest seeded Bayo left in bracket. Beastly yeah. and Blair, number one and number two seats are Bayo. Generic not even cracking the top 16. Yeah, and generic was seated to get into the top 32. However, was seated to get in on the loser side at so 20 seconds. Well, but he, you know, sometimes you just go on a tear. And sometimes you also play Bayonetta and go on a tear, which is just putting everything into your favor. Oh, that perfect pivot was nice, but the witch, uh, the witch twist from Glare as a bit of an uh, overshoot in order to try and stop Generic from getting an easy free uh, instant edge guard. So now we've got neutral, and that's the problem. Generic can be a little bit over-aggressive right there. Pulled the trigger a little early. It took a big bit of damage for it, but punishing the special lag right there from Glare, taking him all the way off the top. It is notable. We are in winner's quarters at this point, so we are now officially in first to three territory. But so Glare may very well have a second lease on life if he goes down right here, but that still assumes that Generic is able to chip this one in. That's problem top player mentality. They are never out of it. Okay. And we saw how close that previous game got. Both sides trading uh, back and forth combos and effective combo counterplay. I wonder if that was intended to be a, a footstool into some sort of like wish twist setup there. Either way, though, Glare is able to get going, looking for the up air, but finds the follow up down air generic, looking, getting a little too greedy with that ABK back to stage, and Glare makes him pay for it. That is the issue with generic. Sometimes he can be a bit over aggressive, and right now. He's got some work to do to recover the momentum here. Percentage doesn't matter nearly as much as when your opponent starts to cook and glare. Looks like he turned up the heat. Oh, always the scariest thing in any sort of fighting game or competitive environment. That one player that just starts to get cooking. Oh, the ABK stuffing out what seems like a back air or a witch twist attempt, and now Generic gets his turn to play on the sticks. Double ABK and stays safe as Glare does get tossed up though and unable to land any kind of a hit as generic. So Glare tries a reversal, but another witch time. Perfect. And we go for the neutral air all the way off stage. Generic able to count that down in the waning seconds of that witch time. Yeah, I mean you get plenty of time. This is true to the game. Right? You can set your watch to that yeah, one. That's a perfect dodge, and that's a perfect finish.
But catch this stock right there. Again, just catching Janair, trying to yeah, easily get one. back to stage. It was a great down air from Glare, but what a reversal from Janair. It just gets the Witch Time in the back air and then has a minute and a half to get out there with the sweet spot of that neutral air. So, so long. But you know what? I kind of... There's a certain charm to watching a god slaying witch just waltz in and obliterate the competition. There, there is a certain charm to it. <laughs> Still, walking in game number three, Smashville. And generic up two games to none and looking to try and end this game with a end this set with a 30. A 30 and a huge upset over one of our top seeds. What a win that would be for Generic, who may be a bit of a hidden boss. Like he's, he's seemingly technically in Smash 4, I believe he was pr a couple times. So maybe not a hidden boss. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. It's local recognition though, very different from major recognition. And generic seems to be trying to get on that scale. And he's starting off with a big way to punch his ticket into top eight. Yeah, tipping more than a two fingers on that scale yeah. with that big old fist. The forward smash, cleaning that stock off early, but this is the problem. Glare has been in this situation before and has managed to claw his way back. The momentum still in Generic's favor, misses an up tilt. What is Glare going to get out of this? Catches the landing yet again, continuing the combo. Up B off the top, we're going to land the up air. We are, but great DI from Generic. Getting away. The influence. Oh, hello. What do we got? What Downer? creativity can we do after this? Reset the combo yet again. Off the top, do we have the upper to finish? We do not. Glare. Great SDI yet again. Not able to get out, but Generic is finding all these air dodge. We've been seeing how many uh, bats within have been coming out on the side of, well, both players, to be honest. But Generic is really starting to anticipate the air dodges and making certain that he can try to punish them so long. What are we talking Farewell. about anticipation? What are we talking about for anticipation? He knew. Again, he, he knew. knew. He knew. Intelligence, yeah. an intelligent fail player. Yeah, awareness of the air dodging, awareness of the counter uh, counter attacks coming out from generic. Like that is, that is spent good time well spent just studying how Bayonetta's generically play in order so he can apply some very solid counter play where Bayonetta players typically get a little bit greedy. I mean, real talk, there's a lot of players who complain about how long